Hello everyone, welcome to the Rutgers Executive MBA program known as the Powerhouse. So today with me we have a very exciting group of individuals. Number one, they've just graduated from the Rutgers Executive MBA program, but number two, they've done something really remarkable. They founded their own consulting company and they did a real consulting project in Flemington, New Jersey here. And number three, the project is continuing after their graduation. So their consulting company is now bringing in some serious cash and thinking of other consulting opportunities. Now this began as an elective. So in lieu of one of the electives we offer in the program, this group of individuals went out and actually incorporated all the materials they had learned in the program. The finance, the strategy, the economics, the marketing, and they actually deployed it in terms of a consulting project, a real company, real time, real money, and real results. And so with me here, we have the individuals of this company known as Half Pie Consulting. And within a few minutes, you will know why this name came about. It's a very interesting story, actually. So here you are, you are comfortably in this executive MBA program. What, when does this happen? What makes you think, let's go out and actually apply this? You guys are working four really busy jobs. You're maxed out, plus, 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 families travel. How did this happen? It all started back in China, as you alluded to earlier. In China? It did. So um, we were, it was the second or third day in China, and we were coming home from one of our, our trips. I don't remember exactly which one. And uh, Gary uh, spoke to me on the bus and said, hey, um, let's go out to dinner tonight. I want to talk to you guys about something. So earlier, uh, you know, we didn't realize it at the time, but when we went to the Yu Wang Gardens, there was a description on the wall called Turning Point. Hmm. And um, that inscription says, we asked the tour guide, we said, what does that mean? And she said, you can go, you, you're on a journey, you can go, you can go, no, you can go further, and you need to, um, uh, to change direction and change your course. Uh -huh. So we were, we were eating dinner. Wow. This was meant to happen, it sounds like. It's, it was exactly <laughs> right. Um, we were at dinner, and Gary said, hey, guys, I, I want to do something different. Um, I don't know what that looks like right now. Uh, but I want to do something with, with you guys. I want to do something different. So we made a commitment to one another uh, to do something different. And it was truly a turning point uh, for us in Reba. And also for us as Half Pie Strategies was actually founded that day. Um, we called it Half Pie because we were originally a group of, uh, of eight from our study group. And we had a great study group. Um, but when we were, we, we kind of committed to each other, we just said, when, when Gary was like, let's go out to dinner, one of us mentioned, so is it the entire group or just us four, like like half a pie, like half a pizza? So we kind of kind of just found it, the name that way. And wow. Wow. really the project started from, from that point, from that dinner. We didn't know really what we wanted to do, but eventually it just kind of evolved uh, into a consulting project in our second semester. So this is all happening in China. Is it, mm -hmm. is it Shanghai? Is it Beijing? Shanghai. It's in Shao, you, uh, the UN Garden, yeah. Shanghai. Yeah. So where was this happening in Shanghai? I mean, it, it seems almost like this was predestined. Or maybe I'm making this more dramatic than I should, but there's a sense here, you know, you're seeing the Chinese sign, you guys are talking. It's all happening on the same day. Where in Shanghai did this happen? Well, this happened at the Peace Hotel overlooking the Wangpu River. Oh, the Peace Hotel. And, uh, you know, it was one of those moments where you're removed from the everyday stresses of life. We're, you know, halfway across the globe. We're not, we don't have the stresses and the responsibilities of family and jobs. And you can kind of think very clearly about what you want to do with this program, wow. what you want to do with the, f the future. And Gary had approached us individually first and kind of felt us out for whether or not we were interested in doing something different. And not only something with the program, but something beyond the program. You know, what are we going to turn this into? Is it just going to be some letters after our name or are we going to actually do something? And that spoke to me. I know it spoke to Rich and Eric. And we got together um, at the Peace Hotel. We had a great seven course meal for some astronomical amount of money that we'll never see again. But, uh, but, it, but it was wonderful. And, and, you know, we took notes on, you know, I think I opened up, uh, you know, notes on my, on my iPhone and we just were brainstorming. You about, actually use the notes app. On I still iPhone. have it. I still wow. have the notes, right? So that is amazing. And I think it was June 2nd, pretty sure it was June 2nd, 2016. And, uh, it, you know, the, the label of the notes was at the time, 
half pi LLC. That's the, wow. the initial name that we came up with. Of course, it's changed to half pi strategies. And, uh, and we basically had a brainstorming session and we just kind of fed on each other's ideas. And it was a very, very exciting. We got this great picture of us overlooking the river. And, uh, and I go back to those notes wow. periodically That's and say, you know, kind of this is the, these are some of the ideas that we initially had and we've kind of followed up on that. And the Peace Hotel, for those of you who are, who are aware of that, is it overlooks the Bund in Shanghai. And it's that old colonial building with that green pyramid. And actually, personally also, I can relate to it because many, many years ago when I was teaching in Shanghai in the program, I remember sitting there on the, on the rooftop there and grading exams and looking down on the river. And actually, in the balcony, there are white doves, hence Peace Hotel. So they're still there. They're supposed to stay there to keep the peace, I guess. But yeah, I love the story. This is a great story. Now, I should point out that this, this project here, this group here, each one of these individuals is a heavy hitter. We are starting with a gentleman here who's actually coming back, Rich, to teach in the program in a section, a short course on HR strategy and how to keep your high talent. We have a gentleman here who's from Virginia Tech, my old school, and he turned in a perfect exam in the midterm course. Next to him is another gentleman, another perfect exam in the midterm course, um, Gary Mansavage. And here we have a gentleman here who is uh, running the legal department of Raymore and Flanagan and got the highest grade point average in the executive MBA program. So we got four heavy hitters here. Tell me about the consulting project. So how do you choose your company? Did they approach you? Uh, how did, tell me more. Wendy's. So it started at Wendy's. When they, <laughs> Food we were, is important here. Yeah, no, we, were, we were in Professor Shen's class, and as part of Professor Shen's class, what he was asking us to do is, as a group, go out and do a marketing plan audit of a company. And really, the proposal that he made to the class was to consider the companies on his list. The companies on his list were publicly held companies, big companies, like, for example, Wendy's. So as a group, what we decided was, we'll take a look at Wendy's. Maybe that'll be the company that we actually work on as the group of eight of us. And several of us actually went and visited Wendy's during the week in residence. And that was my first time in a Wendy's in quite a long time. And I remember it very vividly, especially afterwards, after having uh, eaten, <laughs> eaten, eaten the food and not very familiar with that. But we got back in class that, that week, and the idea was still floating in our heads as to what company might we want to work for. And ultimately, we decided, at least the, the four of us certainly came up with the idea that it would be much more fun, powerful, impactful to really take the talents that we bring to the table and what we've learned in Remba and really apply it in real time to a real company. Wow. And then it just so happens that the specific company that we ended up uh, selecting was a company that several of us were familiar with, a local company in Flemington. I see. And so you approached the company then, or? Correct, yeah. Yeah, so we, we actually, uh, what we did was we actually approached the, there's the, the head honcho of the company. He's actually well known in the Flemington area. And we actually went and talked with him just about who we are and generally what our aspirations were. Mm -hmm. We asked him if we could help him with um, a marketing plan audit for his company. Mm -hmm. And he was very excited to do that, recognizing mm -hmm. that it would be a free service that we could provide mm -hmm. to dig into his company no and offer brand. recommendations. Mm -hmm. you know, and he was very excited for us to t basically to take that opportunity. Our pitch was very simple to him, really. I mean, I remember we were sitting there and we said, look, how would you like to have four very hardworking, dedicated guys address some of the pain points in your business? No charge. And that was it. It was a 10 second pitch. I mean, it, complete no brainer. So. And he, I think, he, he, he called said, it, sure. <laughs> he called in his general manager on the spot, brought him into the room, and said, These gentlemen are going to help us out. And that's how it started. So, so when, it, when we started with the, the marketing project, we did three audits um, and also um, uh, gave some recommendations. And then that's where really the genesis of the research seminar came. We, we had such a great time in our group. Uh, teammate had a great time mm -hmm. doing the marketing plan and you could actually move the needle applying um, what we learned in REMBA um, for, for, this, for this small organization. And then we decided, you know what, perhaps we could do a research seminar and continue in our second semester with, with the organization, and that's when we approached you with, with the idea. I see, that was really a phase two mm -hmm. of the ongoing yeah. process. Yes. So did you, so are you all marketing people and to some extent, or was most marketing, so you were the hardcore marketing person? Just, I, I don't know if I'd say hardcore, but yeah, just the, the four of us all took the class from Shen. I had some marketing and sales experience. 
Uh, one of the interesting things we found is when you get to a real world business that needed our help, is they really only had two people in their marketing department and they worked full time on marketing, but they had to control all the different departments and different initiatives that the leadership team at that company was working on. And then everyone else is a person that was running a, a specific business unit that really doesn't have a lot of time or expertise. They're tactical people and they really needed our help and we were able to really kind of apply what we could do for them uh, on the side to help enhance what they needed to do. Yeah, and so, but did, was there were no there were no stress points, awkward issues like you were giving them some policy strategy, mm-hmm. uh, or some strategy in general that kind of ran counter to what the marketing department was doing, or was there, were there any such situations like that? Yeah, I, I don't know that it, uh, there were some things that some advice that we gave, some recommendations that we yeah. gave that ran counter to some of the things that they were doing, but they did recognize okay. that some of what they were doing was a little antiquated, out of date, not really in touch with, mm-hmm. you know more modern marketing practices. And so we had a client who really from the get-go was very receptive to some of the ideas that we had. And what was so exciting about that is we had many meetings with them over the course of those months between September, I guess, of 2015 and to May of 2017. 2016 into 17. Into 17. And you know, every meeting it was kind of a dawning for them. Like, yeah, you know what, that makes, yeah, that really makes a lot of sense. We're gonna try that out. Yeah, we understand, yeah, why didn't we look at that information that way before? We have the information. And those little success stories with the leadership team, for me at least, anyway, I think for the rest of us, it kind of fueled our energy and our excitement to do something one step further, dig a little bit deeper, do that additional recommendation. Um, But we had a client who was very receptive to that kind of very candid feedback. And we were very candid about the things that we saw. And not just that, but the inherent chemistry, it's, it's obvious that the inherent chemistry was just fantastic within this group. And in general, that's what our program is known for. You know, we have, we're surrounded by major executive MBA programs here. And what separates us is that the camaraderie and just the closeness to the family feel here. But superimposed on that is a higher level here is what I'm seeing. You guys were completely secure with each other's skills and and strengths, and you just kind of synergized on each other. Is this is the sense I'm getting? We, we were really lucky as a group, and there were other groups similar to us in the Rumba program. But our group had a variety of different skills, from HR to operations, marketing and sales, legal expertise. We could cover a lot of different skill sets in our daily jobs, mm-hmm. as well as using some of the skills to tie them together from Rumba, which I thought was a huge experience. That not only was the study group learning from each other in the classroom, but in this project, we were able to kind of apply and challenge each other and test and learn and, and do a lot of interesting things. You know, throughout the structure of the program, the way that, that, that Rembrandt is structured, it gave us a lot of opportunity in that first year to work together, and you get to know what everyone's strengths and, and, and weaknesses are. And with this group that you see right here, the four of us, mm-hmm. you know, you work together with these guys. I know that if Eric is working on one part of the project, He's got our full trust because he's always going to deliver. And if Rich is working on another part of the project, he is always going to deliver. And Gary's always going to deliver. So it's this, I think that's part of what kind of fuels this group as well. We have this trust that you hand something off to someone, it is going to get done and it's going to get done to the best of their ability. And it's going to be very top notch. And that's, I think that's another reason why the four of us have gelled because we have that trusting relationship. I love it. And, And the program gave us the opportunity to find that. Well, thank you. And, and likewise, you're giving the program the opportunity to carry this on for the, for the future classes. Um, but speaking of the future, now you have part three now of the consulting happening. So now that you have graduated, you're going back to the company for more consulting. Uh, f- philosophy. Yeah, if, and I think we need to fill in some of the stories. So I think yeah, please. actually when the research seminar started, mm-hmm. that was really an opportunity to really, I think, advance the relationship that we had already built with this organization. So it was really three or so months of discussions with them to really take our relationship with that company to a new level in terms of the management team and also the folks on the ground too that were actually doing a lot of the work. Um, and so it actually made a lot of sense to then go ahead and, and talk with the organization about other opportunities that they might have for us really to help them out. We built the trust and credibility and they actually came up with some suggestions in terms of areas where they really needed some focused help. And that's where we dove in on the research seminar. So the research seminar took us through our last semester where we really got to apply in real time the skills, the the knowledge um, across the board to really help out the organization. And and really in doing so you've taken this whole program to a whole different level. 
you know, and, and we were fortunate that we had our Dr. Lubna Iraji who joined us. So we have the use for the academic consulting as the professor. They had Dr. Lubna Iraji, who is the alumni coach and the career um, director of the executive MBA program. And Lubna, you want to come on in and join us here? You can scoot up next to her. So, please. And so Lubna is, um, she's worked in consulting. She's worked for Booz Allen. She's got a PhD in molecular biology. biology. <laughs> Um, she has an MBA from Rutgers, and so the timing, it was, it was a perfect storm, if you will. She joins us just about the time that we needed somebody to kind of coach this, this team through their project. So Lubna, thank you for all you've done. Well, thank um, you for the opportunity. I had a really great time working with such smart minds, and I was very excited because I really like teaching the team consulting classes, but this was a really impactful project that, that I had the opportunity to be part of, and they did a fantastic job, they did all the job. So thank you, and so as a, as a consequence of this um, consulting project, now team consulting um, formally is part of the executive MBA program, and these gentlemen and Lubna Raji was, are gonna be on the board of advisors of, uh, you wanna tell them? Uh, sure, so uh, we will give an opportunity to the new classes to work on research seminar projects. It will be uh, an elective three credit course and the students will have to uh, allocate about 45 hours of work to 40, the project. 45 hours on yes. the project, I see. 45 so this hours. This is a serious project. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, they can either work individually or work in a group and they will have to uh, write the proposal to Professor Langdana, uh, get approval from the board, and then they can get started and work and, on and it. And this is going to be a board. So guys, yes, you've just been <laughs> nominated and volunteered into the board of yes. advisors of the Rutgers Executive MBA Team Consulting Project. Yes. Um, I just have to ask you, so at any time in this consulting operation, were you ever apprehensive? Did a situation arise where you went, did we cover this in the program? Or did you have to kind of build something from scratch? I'm just curious. Was there ever a time? So as far as, and guys, please add um, as needed, but as far as the, the curriculum that we received yeah. for myself, and I'll speak for our group, we felt extremely well prepared to handle the challenges that were presented to us. Mm -hmm. So everything from Rosa to Barry to Ben um, to Sharon organizational behavior. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was truly a capstone project. So going into the project with, with my great teammates here, I was never necessarily concerned about how we would, would handle something. But the great part of the project is, and sometimes in school, you already know the answer. You know, hey, here is, you know, what is X? And you kind of already know what, what X is. Mm -hmm. For when we walked in, uh, the organization said, hey, we need you to um, uh, improve Y in their operation. We, we didn't necessarily know what Y was, I see. but mm -hmm. we felt confident that we were equipped with the, the knowledge from uh, the staff and the program and the curriculum that we could develop Y, and that's what we actually wound up developing was was a program to meet the needs of, of that organization. I, I don't know that there was ever any time where we were concerned individually or, or as a group that we didn't know something or that we didn't have some skill to apply. I think actually at times we almost took for granted that we had those skills, right? So you were we were brainstorming and we were doing fishbone diagrams and we were doing financial analysis and we were doing marketing analysis and pricing analysis without really calling it such you were doing it and then if you look back forensically and you look at the report that we did mm -hmm. you can start to see where all those disciplines came together but at the time mm -hmm. they were so well ingrained because of the program mm -hmm. you didn't even feel as though you had any uh, there wasn't really any weakness or opportunity you felt very confident I, I know dealing with this client we felt very very confident um, as a group and I did see your report. Your report was magnificent. And in fact, today when we present you to the whole class, we actually have made copies of your report that we will hand out to them. But that was a masterpiece. So again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh,
And if I, if I may say, yes, I, I think the report was certainly the deliverable we had to submit in order mm -hmm. to get the credit to graduate. <laughs> mm -hmm. So of course we wanted to do that. And then thank you for the congratulations on the report. But again, as we said before, mm -hmm. it was really meaningful to actually see the, the needle was moved with the company that we were working with. I like that. To see, they, you know, we go in and talk with them for an hour and they would recognize that some of the things we said actually could potentially add value and they would actually go ahead and act on those. And in terms of the interaction that we had, I mean, I think what Remba really is doing is you're taking people that have experience already, you're giving them additional tools in their toolkit, really. And I think that's what, what in this case, we were able to offer to the client was we take those additional tools now in our toolkit plus the experience that each of us has had and bring it to the table to really solve problems in, frankly, an innovative way, I think, is the way that we handled it. And, fr and what I also like is it kind of almost forces you to stay in touch with each other, you know, because that's, this is a relationship of a lifetime. I don't have to tell you that, you know that. And so, so now it's a twofold purpose here. You know, you're working as a team of high-powered consultants, but you're also just staying together as friends and graduates of the, of the powerhouse. And actually, I love that aspect of it. It's all happening endogenously. So, and, it's ha <laughs> and it's all happening endogenously. And if you don't know what that means, join the program. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for being here this evening. And I look forward to your presentation to the, uh, the second year class. Yeah. Lubna, thank you for all that you've done sure, for the program. Pleasure. And congratulations. And I miss your class already. Yeah. If you <laughs> come back, sit in class anytime. And thank you for watching us. Thank you for watching us at the Powerhouse. <laughs>